Sit down and get comfortable. We're about to take you inside of the XDA at Maryland International Raceway, motorcycle fans. And we begin with the husband and wife team, the newly married husband and wife team, known as the Freak Show. This is Carrie Ann Lucy. She has done such a great job. And for all of you out there that would like to try this sport, male or female, look at Carrie as your shining example. She got on the bike about two years ago with not much prior experience, encountered a little bit of a learning curve, getting used to a high horsepower motorcycle. But wait till you see her now. She looks like a true veteran with the help of her husband and her cheering section out there. Just takes a little seat time to get comfortable. Nice, clean, leave, nice, straight run. Look at this, we're bar to bar through the finish. How about that, Carrie? Hey. Nice run. Ca Carrie's doing a great job, huh? My stepmom. She's doing wonderful, isn't she? She's come a long way in a short yes. period of time. Yes. You know what that means? What's that mean? You girls are next. Get some leathers. There you go. You will be surprised how beneficial it is. We're always trying to encourage new racers here. All right, we got a little pre-race maintenance going on over here, getting ready for a big day. What do we got, tire change? Yeah, it's a gear change, actually. Okay, why the gear change? Because this bike's a brand new bike that I haven't tested yet. I blew mine up last night, so we're testing it for elimination. So, we'll see what happens. Good luck. Here on Cycle Drag, we like to take you inside the sport, inside the trailers. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Stay with us because in this video, plenty more fast runs and talented bracket racers coming. Here's one of the best ever, Shane Proctor, near lane. Loves his Kawasaki's up against the ZX-14. Green light start for Shane. Shane suffered a nasty explosion three years ago. It's so great to have him back. How about that? Shane turns on the wind light. No big surprise there. And what you love about these races is there's so much diversity. Look at Simeon Amaru, the big man on the street tire, no bar, Kawasaki ZX-14R. He's taken on this Hayabusa drag bike with a set of Willy bars on it. Pretty cool, running an 859. It's got the car tire. We got a great race, guys. Call it out. Will it be the ZX-14? Will it be the Busa Bar Bike? Look at how close they are in terms of ET. Far end wind light, Simeon. Bar Bike went under. It cannot go under. Kawasaki versus Suzuki Showdown continues. A little bit of a bog there. The goal is to hit your Dallin. Do not go under your Dallin. Beat your opponent to the finish line. Wind light left hand lane. That wind light can be found all the way at the top of the scoreboard if you need to rewind or look at any of the numbers. Hey, here comes Shane Hall, husband of Carrie Ann Lucy. That is the freak show. There's a motorcycle that looks like a freak show. Where's the tail section? Man, he's saving weight. Green light start, no, freak show. Or will the no tail section bike get around them? Top end of the racetrack. Ah, oh, left hand lane, 899 with a three on an 899. Here is the Mac machine, Mac McAdams, longtime veteran. You can see he has the general lead. He's a big Dukes and of Hazard fan. Believe it or not, this is so crazy. Mac is actually taking a little bit of grief for the Confederate flag controversy, which Mac has nothing to do with, I can promise you. Mac is not mixed up in that. This man uh, absolutely does not have a, a racist bone in his body. That's not what this is about. This is about being a fan of Dukes and Hazard. But unfortunately, in this day and age, some have had a problem with Mac's Dukes of Hazard paint job, which is really hey guys, unfortunate. Mac is on a roll, isn't he? Yes, he's always on fire. There you go. Congratulations. That is Mac's girlfriend. Yeah, it was it was astounding to me to see that Mac, uh, even somebody as simple as a Dukes of Hazard paint job, somehow 
got brought into that controversy only by a select few. Most people really love Mac's paint, paint job and Mac has stuck with the general lead Dukes of Hazard inspired paint. Here's Mike Ostrowski. He's one of the toughest 460 racers in the country. He comes from Long Island. His wife How's it going, always guys? there to help him. How are you, How are you feeling? Not bad so far. Tough turnout this weekend, huh? Yeah. All the heavy hitters here. What's it take to win this class? Consistency. Consistency is the key word. Yeah. And a good crew woman, right? I good hope crew, so. Yeah. There you go. Good luck. How sweet is this motorcycle, guys? We'll let you enjoy it. A very talented husband and wife team ready to fire it up. That is the external starter. These bikes do not have onboard starters, many of them to save weight. Some of the, the street bikes, of course, are still equipped with starters. And we do even see some drag bikes that are self-starting, but most of them opt to have a crew person help and get out the starter car, which is operated by car batteries to turn over these big high compression, big bore motors. Ostrowski on the Suzuki. We got a Kawasaki KZ far lane with the big man. What do you like better, guys? I wanna see in the comments, Suzuki GS or Kawasaki KZ and why? Which one do you like better? Top end of the racetrack. Winlight Ostrowski, double breakout. They both went under. Bracket racing, if both racers go under, it's the racer who goes under by the least amount that will win. I know some of you out there are confused. Bracket racing is a little tough to understand at first, but once you figure it out, I'm telling you guys, it is the best system where we can line up. Look at this, this is a perfect example. A brand new ZX-14 versus an old school drag bike, and it's an even playing field. It's all about cutting the light, being consistent, beating your opponent to the finish line. Two green lights, you see the staggered start based on the handicap. Who will get there first? Win light left hand lane, he holds him off, 78 on a 73. Other side broke out. And sometimes a good reaction time will cause your opponent to break out because they'll try to make up the deficit chasing you down. <laughs> Remember, the biggest thing to understand in bracket racing is your elapsed time does not start until you break the beam. Your reaction time and elapsed time are separate. They're not connected. That's why reaction time is so important and will give you an advantage when it comes to having a little bit of breathing room down there at the far end if you can cut a light on your opponent. Two beautiful drag bikes. How about a wind light left hand lane, double breakout, only under by three down. So I really hope you guys are enjoying this. The idea here is to show these northeastern drag bike racers to the rest of the world. And we're gonna hit several other locations in the future. We've already been to Australia, we've been out to the west coast, the Midwest. You never know where cycledrag.com may end up. We've been down to Daytona Bike Week. Sturgis is certainly on the list, but that's our goal here is to connect the motorcycle community and we appreciate you guys for subscribing to this channel, liking this page. We've got so many of you here. We always ask, please check in and give us some feedback. Let us know where you're watching from, where your local track is, what is the bike scene like where you live. We always like that information. I read every single comment. Thank you guys so much for leaving the feedback. Now it's time for a GS and some Busa. Oh, this is going to be a great race, guys. Side by side we go. New school or old school, who you like? Give it to old school. The GS takes the win. There's a look at the Dowlins coming up. We got an 892 to a 798. Major diversity. CX-14 versus the GS. Robin Procopio near lane. One of the tough ladies out here. Robin giving chase. She is so tough. We'll see if she can run down that ZX-14. Watch the scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen. Robin, double breakout. Robin wins it. Here we go again. Old school, new school. ZX-14, no bar against the Suzuki GS here lane. 
side by side. Almost identical ETs here. Bob Donald in 865, his competition in 842 to the top end we go. Win like Bob Carlson. Another double breakout. Here comes another one of the very talented racers. Recovering from an unfortunate crash last fall where he sustained a concussion. This is Boo Brown. <laughs> This guy is very tough. Wilson Burkhead, left-hand lane, another veteran. Both these guys have been racing for years at this facility. Maryland International Raceway and a few other tracks in the Northeast, including ADCO, Virginia Motorsports Park, has some of the toughest racers in the country. This is IHRA, no box racing, no delay box here. Oh, we got green lights, Burkhead and Brown. Who you like, guys? The wheelie bar bike, the no bar bike? Who will it be? To the stripe we go! Oh, Burkhead takes out Boo Brown! Woo! And here comes my man with the favorite burnout. Watch my man Barry Pryor. He's a showboat. He knows we're filming him. What's up, Barry? Oh, yeah! <laughs> He's always a hot dog, isn't he? You gotta love it. Barry Pryor, known as East Coast Performance Zeke. Also, Godspeed, our good friend Joe Williams. We certainly miss him. He was a mainstay here at Maryland International Raceway for years. Let's take you back, ladies and gentlemen, during this event. If you have not seen it already, this is one of the wildest pieces of footage you will ever see in motorcycling. Make sure you share this with your friends. If you would like just this clip, it's up on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. This is real street. Keep an eye on the left hand lane. Oh, Ralphie Navarro loops it out and goes soaring in midair. Crazy. Unbelievable. The good news is Navarro would be okay, guys. Take a second look in slow motion. This is just an absolutely staggering piece of footage. I've never seen a Hayabusa take flight quite like that. That's when you're dealing with just an incredible amount of horsepower, no wheelie bar and a street tire. Thank goodness though, Ralphie is on the mend. He will be back. Share this video with somebody who's not gonna believe it. If you would like to see a video dedicated just to this instance, it's up on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. It truly was crazy, and we are so glad that Ralphie was okay. There's what's left of this bike. Make sure that you get the Maryland International Raceway and check out one of these races live. It was a lot of fun, and Cycle Drag will be hitting the road to come to a drag race or rally near you. If you have any suggestions, let us know in the comments. In the meantime, we want to thank all of our great sponsors that we have on CycleDrag.com for helping us hit the road. Thank you so much. Fuel Tech, Final Swipe, Spevco, Wozner, Dahl, GMS, Performance, Advanced Sleeve, Track Dynamics, Macintosh, G-Built, Kibble White, SRW. We, just some of the many. MR2 Shocks, ProJack, Carpenter Racing, Laser, Porting, US Chrome, Adams Performance, Dunnigan Racing, Brox Performance, HTP, MTC, Engineering, one of the finest companies out there that makes that Gen 2 clutch, among some other things. RC Components, Mantine Imaging, Liska Racing, MPS Performance, McKinney Auto Parts, Timlin Chassis, AP, Webcam, Trim Techs, Orient Express Racing, and Pingle Enterprises, Chris Matheson Racing, and many, many others. Guys, we appreciate you so much. Please support those who support your sport. They help us get out to all these races. They are the true stalwarts of this industry. When you need something for your motorcycle, look them up. And if you have any questions, if you want to get involved, leave your comment below. If you've never tried this before, don't be shy, don't be scared. We got plenty of pros here that will help you ease into it and do it the right way. Don't be scared by what happened to Ralphie. Remember, that is one of the top pro categories. As we go, here's the shot heard around the world. One more time, Pro Street Final. This is the quickest side-by-side -side and quickest ever on a street tire. 642, 646, that's on street tires, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we could relive that so many times. Much more coming. What's gonna happen when we get into the cool air of the fall? Will we see street tire motorcycles dip into the 630s? What do you think? Hey, please make sure you check out our install of a Brox Performance exhaust system we do before 
and after sound testing that is on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. We also give you some installation tips from the man himself, Brock Davidson. Make sure you guys check it out as well as all the other great content on this channel, including Top Fuel Motorcycles. If you've never seen Larry Spider-Man McBride, make sure you check out our Larry Spider-Man McBride playlist. Thanks so much for subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Smash that bell for notifications and liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook.